A great morning, you guys. A great morning. Today is going to be an amazing day. In my name of Jesus, we thank God for who He is and what He's doing in our lives. We thank God for another week, man. Awesome week. Be an awesome week. It shall be in His mighty um, name. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you guys had a great night's sleep. Today, I want to talk about. Uh, don't expect everybody to celebrate you. Everybody, uh, it's not going to celebrate you. Don't look for everybody to celebrate you. All right, let's go to the throne. Let's go to the throne of grace, guys. We're going to get right into it. Father God, we come to your throne of grace, thanking you just for your grace, your mercy, God, your salvation, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for another opportunity, Father God, to get right with you again, God. We thank you for our families and friends and loved ones, God. Thank you for the forgiveness of our sin, both known and unknown sins. We thank you for the leadership right now. We thank you for guidance, God, God. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. Increase like never before right now, God. Take everything that away from you, away from us that's not of you, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for being able to surrender to you. God, to come to your throne of grace with confidence, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for our families and friends, God. Continue to increase yourself within us, God. Thank you, Father, Jesus, God. Increase yourself within us, God. Strengthen us spiritually, physically, and mentally, God. We know sometimes, Father God, it may get hard, Father God, for them, God. So continue, Lord Jesus, to get them endurance, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for patience and kind, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the fruits of the Spirit, God. We thank you for a great day. It shall be in your mighty name, God. We thank you for the word today, God. We know everybody would not, is not going to want to celebrate with us, God, when things happen, when we when success happen, God. We know everybody is not going to be happy, but we thank you, God, for being able, Father God, to allow us to glorify and honor you with our gifts and our talents, God. So we thank you right now, God, for everything you've done, and everything that you're going to do. This is our pretty good sign. Jesus' name I do pray, and it is so. Amen. So yeah, don't, don't expect everybody to celebrate with you, man, because you're going to set yourself up for a, uh, a headache, set yourself up for being uh, angry, okay? So today I talk about ring the bell. It says, shout to God with cries of joy. Psalms 47 and 1. Make sure you guys read Psalms 47. It says, after an, after an astounding 30 rounds of radiation treatment, Daughter was finally pronounced cancer free. As part of hospital traditions, she was eager to ring the cancer free bell that marked the end of her treatment and celebrate her clean bill of health. Says daughter was so enthusiastic, stop, and vigorous in her cel celebratory um, ringing that the rope actually detached from the bell. Peals of joyous laughter ensued. So imagine you're going to ring that bell and the whole thing just come down or the whole bell, the, the string just come loose. <laughs> Daughter's story brings a smile to my face and gives me a sense of what the psalmist might have envisioned when he invited the Israelites to celebrate God's work in their lives. Since the writer encouraged them to clap their hands, shout to God, and sing praises because God routed the, their enemies and chosen the Israelites as his beloved people psalms 47 1 and 6 so god does always grant us you know victory um, over our struggles in this life whether health related or financial or relational he's worthy of our worship and praise in even those circumstances because we can trust that he's still seated on the holy throne when he does bring us to a place of healing at least in a way we recognize in this earthly life, it's cause, it causes uh, for a celebration, a great celebration. We may not have a physical bell to ring, y'all, but we can joyfully celebrate his goodness to us with the same kind of exuberant uh, dollar show. So I, I just came up, when I was reading this, I just thought about everybody's not going to celebrate with you. Everybody's not going to be happy for you. So don't expect everybody to be happy with you. Don't expect everybody to go with you. Because some places, God is going to take you. Everybody can't go. You feel me? And everybody's not going to be happy. You're going to have people that are jealous of you. You're going to have people that won't, don't want you to get uh, better than them. They feel like they don't want to see you succeed. You feel me? So don't no. uh, allow that to not... Uh, allow you to celebrate. I always celebrate, man. I always celebrate, especially the love of God and, and what God is doing in your life. Okay, so let's go to the so um, reflections. How do you show your gratitude to God? What good work has He done in your life recently that merits celebration? So think about that right now as we go to the throne of grace, guys. Then we're gonna close out. Okay, here we go.
Let's pray. Thank you, God, for your many gifts to us. We shout our praises to you and clap our hands in celebration of your work in our lives. Yes, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus name. Amen. Amen, guys. All right, guys. I love you all. God loves you more. I want you guys to have a great day in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, everybody's gonna, not going to celebrate. I always celebrate, though. You celebrate, too. You feel me? You are fearfully and wonderfully made, so be uh, mindful that you need to celebrate yourself and, and celebrate things. You feel me? All right, guys. Um, if you need me, I got you. Have a fantastic day. I'm out.